Good morning, good morning, good morning, my MS Gym tribe. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Saturday. Welcome to all the goodness. We are in a full circuit today. So if you notice, I'm a little bit low on the ground just because I got to stand up as well because we're going to rock through this full circuit. So if you are new to the MS Gym, welcome. Um, you're catching us on a Saturday, which means we're going through a full circuit of these exercises. So what that means is that every day during the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday here in America, um, I, I do one exercise or a couple exercises and all of the exercises during the week play in and feed off of each other and they're all part of a uh, big circuit that we will do <clears throat> on Saturday morning. So that's what you're here for. So if you haven't gone through the pelvic tilting exercises from this week or you just joined us, uh, bear with us, get through as much as you can. You haven't really had as much of the education on these exercises as everyone else. So you can go back through this week, look at them, then come back to the circuit and, uh, and rock this out. Because the exercises that we're doing today are key exercises. It's all based on and the fundamental drill in all these exercises is what's called a posterior pelvic tilt. So that is when the top of the, uh, the hip moves posterior to your body. It tips back, okay? And it may feel like you're pushing your hips forward, right? Like you're hip thrusting forward, but you're not. You're actually rotating your pelvis back, okay, or back. So all of these exercises in the MS gym are made to help you manage your MS symptoms. Every single exercise in here is, has been created to help you work around the demyelination in your brain, work around the uh, lesions, I'm sorry, the demyelination in your body and your nerves, the, the lesions in your brain, uh, and to help you restore your strength, restore your balance, restore your coordination, get your confidence back in your body and start living the life that you want, the MS life that you design, instead of the one that's just given to you after your diagnosis or if you've been living with MS for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, whatever it might be. So, Let's get this party started. We're gonna rock this out. We got three exercises on the floor, and then we're gonna pop up and we're gonna do the exercises on our feet, okay? So, first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a pelvic tilt, and I'm gonna have you use a ball. Now, you can use a squeezy ball, or you can use a, um, a bunch of rolled up towels, or a, a thick beach towel, bath towel, something along those lines, okay? So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna place that ball between your legs, Okay, I want you to get a slight squeeze with those abs. Uh, I'm sorry, slight, slight squeeze with the, with the legs. Abs pull down, shoulder blades relax, and you're going to relax your neck. Okay, so I want you to think about holding an apple underneath your chin. All right, so your hips, they're going to tilt back. Okay, so they're going to tilt backwards this way. And that's what I really want you to focus on. Okay, so you're going to hold your hands on your hips. Abs are in. Squeeze that ball lightly, pull the abs down, and we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do 12 pelvic tilts. All right, ready and go. So it's a tip back. So you want to push your low back into the floor. Slight squeeze on the ball. One, two. Come back. Keep the squeeze on the ball. Keep the abs down, and tip back. So you want to tip it back that way. Two, two, and come back down. Pause and tip it back. Three, two and come back to neutral. You don't need to go way forward and arch your back just to neutral. And now tip back, abs are in, squeeze that ball. Four, two, come back, abs are in, tip back, five, two. Come back, abs are in, tip the pelvis back, six, two. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Good, back, and tip, seven, two. Come back, and tip, eight, two. Come back, two more, let's go, abs are in, and tip, nine, two. Come back, and go ahead and tip, 10, and two, all right? Okay, so now what you're gonna be doing is a pelvic tilt, I mean, I'm sorry, a uh, hip bridge, okay? So with this hip bridge, you wanna make sure that you're not way arching up in your back right here, okay? The hip bridge motion is just straight up with your hips, okay? Straight up with your hips. I feel like I'm really dark on this camera. Hold on just a sec. Let me switch this. Let me switch this. I know we got to get going, but hold on. Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay, cool. I just want you guys to be able to see me. 
All right, so here we go. So ball squeeze, abs are in, tip that pelvis back, okay? So you, you wanna start out with that pelvis tip back and you wanna keep tipping that pelvis back, all right? So you wanna hold the pelvic tilt, abs are in, and now we're gonna work on hip bridging while in the pelvic tilt. Ready? And just squeeze your glutes. Push through your heels. So it's a one, two. Bring it back down slow. Keep a slight squeeze on the ball. Abs are in. Tilt that pelvis back. Two, <coughs> two. And back down. You, you touch the small of your back, the lower back, not your hips. Up, three, two. Come back down slow. Abs are in. And up, four, two. Keep that pelvis tip back. You want to try not to let that pelvis fall forward. Here's your boot. Back down and up. Five, two, come back down and up. Six, two, come back down and up. Seven, two, come back down. You're doing awesome. Up, booty tight. Eight, two, back down, up. Nine, two, Come back down, last one, hold that, 10, and two. Good job, and relax. All right, nice work with that ball, set that to a side, or that towel, set that to the side for a sec. We're gonna use that in a, in a few. All right, so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go through uh, pelvic tilt and hip flexion, okay? So find your chair that you have that you've been using this week and put your legs up, <clears throat> okay? Make sure you have your strap or your belt right here that you're going to need for your legs, okay? And now we're going to work on pelvic tilting in this position. So what this is going to do is it's going to set us up so that we can lift our legs better because our hips are tipped back, all right? So I want your abs in, tip that pelvis back. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to think about just tipping your pelvis back this direction. So I want you to focus on your breathing. So it's going to be an inhale, and then an exhale, as you blow your air out, abs pull down, pelvis tips back, okay? So if you can, try to pull your feet back as much as possible. That helps uh, inhibit hip flexion or hip uh, extension. All right, here we go. So abs are down, pelvic floor up, relax those shoulders. So getting an inhale, so breathe in. Exhale, breathe it out, tip the pelvis back, pull the abs down. One, two, three, inhale. Abs down, blow out, tip that pelvis back. Try to feel your low back in the floor. Two, two, inhale. Exhale, tip that pelvis back. Three, two, inhale. Exhale, tip that pelvis back. Four, two, inhale. Exhale, tip that pelvis back, tip that pelvis back. Five, two, and back down, inhale. Exhale, tip that pelvis back. Six, two, inhale. Exhale, tip that pelvis back. Seven, two, we're doing three more. Inhale. Exhale, eight, two, inhale. I love the way this feels. Exhale, nine, two, I can feel my low back opening. It feels amazing. Inhale, and exhale. 10, two. So you should be feeling that in these obliques right here, probably in your pelvis or your deep floor, your pelvic floor in here. And then you might feel that low back, kind of feel a stretch in the low back as you get that party started. All right. So, all right, grab your strap. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to do single leg lifts. Okay. So if you have a weaker leg, go ahead and put your strap underneath that leg. Okay. Now watch what I do here. Watch my leg with the strap on it. I'm going to drop that lower and I'm gonna just pull that back up. Drop that lower, pull that back up. Now here's the key to this exercise. You've gotta pull the abs down. You wanna be able to tip the pelvis back and then pull. By tipping the pelvis back, it puts that hip flexor in a proper alignment and allows you to lift your leg better. All right, so put the leg down. So we're gonna, we're gonna inhale first, and then on the exhale, we'll move the leg. You inhale when the leg goes down, you exhale when the leg comes up. Okay, Paul Wheeler, if you're watching this, <laughs> inhale as the leg goes down, breathe in, Paul, and then breathe out, pelvic tilt, breathe out and pull the legs back, Paul. <laughs> okay, here we go. Love you, dude. All right, here we go. So leg down, 
So start with a, with a baseline inhale. So tip your, uh, I'm sorry, pull your abs in, slightly tip that pelvis back. Okay, inhale, tip the pelvis back, exhale. Inhale, hold those abs in. Tip the pelvis back and pull. Exhale. Inhale. Pelvis back, exhale. Pull that leg. Three, inhale. Pelvis back, pull the leg. Four, inhale. Pelvis back, pull the leg. Five, <clears throat> inhale. Pelvis back, pull. Six, inhale. Exhale, pelvic tilt, pull the leg. Seven, inhale. Exhale, pull the leg. Good. Inhale, okay, pelvic tilt, pull the leg. Here we go. Tilt and pull. Eight, inhale. Exhale, tilt and pull. Nine, inhale. Exhale, tilt and pull. Ten, good job. All right, let's switch that band to the other leg if you need to. If your leg is strong enough to do it without, do it without, okay? Don't use this as a crutch. Do your thing, all right? All right, so shoulder back, drop that leg. This leg's up. So now you're going to be pulling this leg up, all right? So baseline inhale. Exhale, tilt and pull. One. Inhale. Exhale, tilt and pull. Two. Inhale. Exhale, tilt and pull. Three. Inhale. Exhale, tilt and pull, four. <clears throat> Inhale, tilt, pull, five. Inhale, exhale, tilt and pull, six. Leg down. Inhale, exhale, tilt and pull, seven. Leg down. Inhale, exhale, tilt and pull, eight. Inhale, exhale, tilt and pull, nine. Inhale, exhale, tilt and pull, 10. Good job. All right, you guys, you're doing awesome. So go ahead and find your squeezy towel or your squeezy ball. One of the two. I'm going to move this away. All right, so it's time for sideline tilts. All right, ready? So what you're going to do here is you're going to find that squeezy ball or you're going to find a, a, that rolled up towel that you were using. That goes in between your legs. <clears throat> okay. So there's two leg positions here. When we do the pelvic tilt, you're going to be up at 90. Okay. When we do the clamshell, you're down at 45. So just know that. Did I lose my sound? What? Nope. We're all good. All right. Let's roll. So legs are up at 90 here. Boom. All right, so you're going to support your hands, support your head. Your hips are stacked. Look down at your knees. If one's forward, one's above the other, you're not stacked. If one's behind the other, you're not stacked. So you need to see a straight line going from knee to knee here. I'm going to scoot back a little bit more. All right, so <coughs> toes up, abs in like this. I'm going to be talking like this because I don't want to shout into the mic here. So abs are in this way, and we're going to pelvic tilt. All right, we ready? So put those legs out at 90. Make sure your, leg, your feet are not behind you. You want them out front. All right? So abs are in. Shoulder blades back and tilt. So it's a one, two, and come back. Two, two, and come back. Three, two, and come back. Four, two, and come back. So pelvic tilts up. Relax your head. Five, two, and come back. Six, two, and come back. Seven, two, come back. Eight, two, come back. Nine, two, come back. And ten, two, come back. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to clamshell. So both feet are here. If you have a towel, it might be a little bit better so that ball doesn't roll away, okay? So, but I have a ball, so I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna show what that towel would look like. So it's gonna be about right here. So it's, you can just rest your legs like this because you don't wanna drop all the way down because it may pull your hip out of alignment. So you want to rest on that folded up towel there, 
Drop your legs down to 45 degrees-ish, and we're gonna rotate up, we're gonna clamshell. So rest your hands, stack your hips, and go. So it's a one, two, back down. Two, two, back down. Don't let that leg collapse, just go to straight, neutral. So your knee should be lined up with your hip joint. Three, two, back down. Using the muscles on the back of your butt here. Four, two, okay, push those hips forward a little bit, you guys, pelvic tilt, come on. There it is, five, two, back down, pelvic tilt. I, I did, wasn't pelvic tilting, I felt it. Six, two, back down. So see, even me, sometimes I get into it, and up, I'm all up in my head, I'm not focusing on what I'm doing. Seven, two, the minute I pelvic tilted, it was like, whoo, up, eight, two, back down, up, nine, put pelvic tilt that body, come on, two, back down, don't let those hips collapse, and up, 10, two, and relax. So as people do the clamshell a lot, what happens is they, they lift their leg, but their hips shift back. You need to push your hips forward and then do the motion and keep those hips forward, abs are in, as you do that motion. Make sure that you have that right position because that can be pretty, that's a, that's a pretty big deal, all right? And I, like I said, I was, just, I was thinking, about, thinking about counting and not thinking about what I was doing and it wasn't, wasn't good. All right, here we go. So other side here. Boom. All right, so we're up at 90. Stack. So stacked hips, stacked knees, abs are in. And pelvic tilt, go. One, two, and back down. Two, two, and back down. Let me scoot back a little bit. Three, two, back down. Four, two, back down. Five, so you're tipping that pelvis back. Two, back down. Six, two, back down. Seven, two, back down. Eight, two, back down. Nine, two, back down. 10, two, back down. Good job. All right, so if you have your towel, leave it there. Drop your legs back a little bit, down about you know 30 to 45 degrees, okay? Not in addition to, but you go from 90 just down about halfway. Okay, so from that ball, so where that towel is, if you have those towels folded up, always come back to neutral so that knee wants to line up with that hip joint. You don't want to let the knee collapse down and let yourself roll, okay? So I'm just going to hold it there to show you what I mean. So abs are in, so I'm just going to hold this here, okay, ready? Abs in, remember, now tip the pelvis back, tip the pelvis back like you were just doing. Now lift, one, two, come back down and touch, two, two, Come back down and touch. You don't need to hold this ball here. I'm just showing, I'm just keeping it there because it'll roll away. Three, two, back down. Four, two, so if you have a big old stack of towels or a cushion, use it. Let's go, push that pelvis forward, up. Five, two, back down, come on. Six, two, back down, focus right here on that glute, up. Seven, focus on the hip, two, back down. Push those hips forward, don't get lazy, up. Abs are in. Pelvic tilt back, two, good, we got two more. Nine, two, back down, last one, up, 10, and two, good, and relax. Okay, so slowly get to your feet, okay? So I'll give you some time, just a sec, to get to your feet. Okay, we ready? <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go into that walk, okay? So when we walk, remember, we're going to push through this glute into our next step. So we have to get hip extension, hip flexion, right? Hip extension here, hip flexion here, and balance side to side, meaning that we don't want that, we don't want that knee to fall. We, when we take a step, we don't want that knee to fall in as we're trying to step up with this other leg. So that's why we did the clamshell. All right, so let's get this pelvic tilt in a standing position. So hand against the wall, step forward with your outside or your inside leg, okay? Now what you're gonna do here, abs are in. Now you're going to pelvic tilt and squeeze this glute. If you can't feel yourself squeeze the glute, just think about pelvic tilting, abs are in, and squeeze the glute, your brain will figure it out, all right? So right here, so imagine like you just took a step, okay, heel is on the ground, abs are in, 10 reps, let's go, one, two, and back. So watch my hands, 
two, two, and back. Good. So I'm tilting and squeezing, right? Abs are in. Tilt three and squeeze that butt. Two, good. Tilt it back, squeeze that glute. Four, two. My hand's on the wall to balance, okay? Abs are in. Pelvic tilt, squeeze. Five, two, and back down. Pelvic tilt, squeeze. Six, two, and down. Pelvic tilt, squeeze. Seven, two, and down. Pelvic tilt, squeeze. Eight, two, and down. Pelvic tilt, squeeze. Nine, two, and down. Pelvic tilt, squeeze, 10, and two. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a step. Whether that means that you do this in front or you do this against the wall, doesn't matter, okay? So you can even do it in your walker and just step forward and do this, but what I want you to think about is abs are in, pelvic tilt, take a step, and then come back, okay? So I'm gonna kinda of do this in between, right? So my hand's gonna be on the wall, but I'm gonna be at diagonal. If you can take your hand off the wall and do it with your arms, Go for it. If you need to be on your walker or your rollator, rollator, rollator. Someone tell me how to spell it, like literally phonetically tell me because I can't find it. <laughs> Again, I call it a wheelie walker, right? So get on your wheelie walker and <laughs> rock it out, okay? All right, so abs are in. Squeeze that tush so you don't get that hyperextension. If you pelvic tilt, you can't hyperextend your knee. So find a base, find a good stability on this leg. Ready? Pelvic tilt and lift the knee and kick forward. One and then come back, okay? Pelvic tilt, abs in, find that glute. Lift the knee, kick forward, two, and come back. Abs, pelvic tilt, butt, kick forward, three, and come back. Pelvic tilt, abs in, find the glute, kick, four, and come back, okay? Tip, abs are in, squeeze the glute, kick, five, and come back. Tip, abs, glute, six, and come back. Tip, abs, glute, seven, and come back. Tip, abs, glute, kick, eight, come back. Tip, abs, glute, go, nine, and come back. Tip, abs, glute, 10, and come back. Good job. All right, flip to the other side or just turn around. Same jam. Now the inside foot's gonna be forward here. And we're gonna do the same thing, right? So abs are in, just keep the abs in the whole time. You're gonna tilt the pelvis, squeeze the glute. Ready, and go. So it's a one, two, and come back. Tip the pelvis, squeeze the glute. Two, two, good. Three, two, come back, good. Go, four, two, and come back. Abs are in, tip the pelvis, squeeze the glute. Five, two, good. Abs tip butt, six, two, and down. Or you can do butt tip abs. <laughs> butt tip guts, there you go. And down, good, up, eight, two, squeeze that glute, tip that pelvis, down. Up, nine, two, back down. Last one, up, 10, two, and back down. All right, Coolio, here we go. So back to your steps. Here's your wall, okay? You're gonna be doing it facing this way. I'm just kind of showing an example of everything. So lock in here, take a step, okay? Ready, it's, it's abs, tip, butt, kick. Good, one. So guts, tip, butt, and two. Good. Guts, tip, butt, and step, kick. Three, and come back. Guts, tip, butt, kick. Four, and come back. Guts, tip, butt, kick, five, and come back. Guts, tip, butt, six, and come back. Come on, find your balance, shoulder blades down, stay in it, mentally connect, let's go. Guts, tip, butt, seven, and come back. Lean into that leg. Guts, tip, butt, step, eight, and come back. Guts, tip, butt, kick, nine, and come back. Got to kick that foot, y'all. Let's go. Guts, tip, butt, and kick. Lean. And 10. Good job. All right. Good deal, y'all. So now what we're going to be doing here is we're going to switch. 
We've worked on a pelvic tilt a ton. We don't need to work on pelvic tilts as much on this one. It's just a side balance. So we're working on these side muscles. So find your balance on the wall. Lock your glute here and tip that pelvis. If you don't tip that pelvis, you're going to fall out into hyperextension. Your legs are going to do this. Okay. So you've got to tip that pelvis, lock that glute, get solid and strong in that leg. And then you're going to lift the inside leg. Okay. So this is my outside leg. This is my inside leg and not try to not fall into the wall. If you need to do this on your walker, do it, but put your walker kind of like over here. So you're, you're, you're sitting. So you're, you're, uh, you're trying to prevent yourself from falling to the side. Okay. But try to do it on a wall or a counter if you can. All right, here we go. Tip the pelvis. Guts are in, butts are squeezed and go one and back down. Tip that pelvis. Go two and back down. Keep the abs tight. Keep the butt tight. Tip the pelvis three and back down. I want you to think about tipping the pelvis and then lifting the leg. So butts and guts, tip the pelvis, lift the leg four back down. Butts and guts, tip the pelvis, lift the leg five back down. Butts and guts, tip the pelvis, lift the leg, six, back down. If you can only lift it an inch, do it. Butts and guts, tip the pelvis. Look, one inch, I'm still finding it. Butts and guts, tip the pelvis, up, seven. Butts and guts, tip the pelvis, up, eight. Good. Butts and guts, tip the pelvis, nine, down. Butts and guts, tip the pelvis, lift, ten. Good. Switch it. Woo! This is fun, huh? Right on. Here we go. So, butts and guts, lock. Get that foot out in front of you and let's go. Tip the pelvis, lift the leg. One, two. Butts and guts, tip the pelvis, lift the leg. Two, two, because I want to get you that sequence. Butt, tip, lift. Ready? Butt, tip, lift. Four, back down. Butt, tip, lift. Five. Butt, tip, lift. Six. Butt, tip, lift. Seven. Butt, tip, lift. Eight. Come on. Butt, tip, lift. Nine. Booty, tippy, lifty. <laughs> and ten. I got to mix it up. I get bored saying the same thing. I don't know if you do, but you know, it's more of an entertainment value for myself. So I turned to turn everything into like an IE, booty, goody, lifty, shifty, runny, jumpy, swimmy. All right, here we go. So <laughs> we're going to do a side step now. All right. So remember, this is the exact same form. It's butt, gut, tip and step, butt, gut, tip and step. So you've literally got to tip and step out, tip and step in. Tip and step out, tip and step in, okay? But if you keep your butt and your gut locked in the whole time, you don't need to worry about so much. So just do that, all right? So if you need to be on a wall and do this and like step out and step in, do it, but I'm gonna show it this way for visual purposes. All right, so if you need your hands on your, on your wheelie walker right here, walking sticks, you can do this too. Countertop, you can do it. Wall, you can do it. I'm just jamming, what up? All right, here we go. So butts and guts, lock it in. Tip, step, find your balance. Tip, step back in. One, butts and guts. Tip, step, find your balance. Tip, step, butts and guts. That's two. Tip, step out, find, shift, it, shift your weight into that foot. Tip, shift your weight back into this hip. So you shift into this leg and then you shift back into this leg, right? So tip, step, shift your weight into that leg. Not too far, just a little bit. Tip the pelvis and six. Tip, step, lean. Tip, lock the glute, step back, seven. Tip, step, shift your weight into that foot. Tip, lock the glute, eight. Tip, step, shift your weight into the foot. Tip, step, shift your weight into the hip. Tip, step, shift your weight into the foot. Tip, step, come back into your hip. Okay, that's 10. So just think about it. It's tip, step, shift, tip, step, shift over back into the hip. So you go shift into the foot, shift into the hip, shift into the foot, shift into the hip. Here we go. Tip. So find your butts and your guts. Boom. Lock it. Tip, step, shift, tip, step, shift into the hip. So tip, step, shift into the foot, 
tip, step, shift into the hip. That's two. S tip, step, shift into the foot. Tip, step, shift into the hip. That's three. Tip, step, shift into the foot. Tip, step, shift into the hip. Four. Tip, step, boom, shift. Tip, step, find your hip. That's five. Tip, step, shift. Tip, shift. <laughs> step, and shift into your hip. Woo, I got to reset my brain. That's six. Here we go. Tip, step, shift into the leg. Tip, step, shift into the hip. Good job. Tip, step. I make myself laugh. If you're not going to make yourself laugh, who's going to make you laugh? And step back. Plus, you can't take yourself too seriously, really. Tip your, tip your pelvis back. And step, shift your leg. Tip your pelvis back. Shift to the hip. That's eight, I think. <laughs> tip your hips. Good. Step, shift, tip, come back. Lock that glute. That's nine. Tip, step, shift your hips. Tip, step, lock your booty. Good job. <laughs> All right, you guys. So thanks for letting me laugh at myself. That's why you guys are my family. I can be myself around you. We can hang out. I don't have to be so clinical and serious all the time. This is fun. We've got to have fun. Even though we're working hard and this may be frustrating and struggling, I don't know what the heck I'm doing half the time, so don't feel so bad, all right? All right, here we go. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit like. If you hit comment or if you want to comment, go ahead and comment. Now, these exercises are super duper important. I want you to practice them. This, uh, this series itself is something you can do once or twice a week, this circuit, to really go through and, and uh, focus on this, all right? So on, the, on Facebook, there is a feature where you can save videos, okay? So there's like a, there's a, I don't know what side it's on. It's either on this side or this side. There's like three dots. And if you click on those three dots somewhere in that video, it'll drop down and it'll say, save video. And Misty might be able to put up the instructions for this or Jody because they know how to do it. Um, if you hit save video, you can save it. And then anytime you go back into Facebook, it, it hits saved videos or saved something. You can always pull up this video. So that's how I want you to start saving these videos so that you can get through and you can start practicing them. All right. So you guys did fantastic. I'm sure your hips are having a little hippie party right now. So go out and do some salsa, do some merengue, get it going, shake it down. It's Saturday night, salsa night. Let's go. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to merengue out of here. Have a good day.